an additional small change to parasolids in PowerShape 2011 is that uh, the wireframe color of the parasolid model can be preserved on export of the model. Now, let me just uh, show you this model. So I'm just going to drop into transparent shaded mode. Now, at the moment, this model appears to have no wireframe color except uh, the standard gray. But I'm just going to activate the uh, style from surfaces option. And you can see now that we see the original wireframe color of the entities used to create the parasolid model. So you can see here we have an array of wireframe colors on this model itself. Now the important feature is that I can now say uh, I can export this parasolid. Well, in this case I will do a copy and paste. So I've copied the model and I'm going to jump into PowerMill and I'm going to say paste that into PowerMill as a new model. Okay, and put my block of material around the model itself. Now, the important thing is, if I just turn off the uh, shading for a second, the wireframe colors have been maintained here. So if you have manufacturing operations set up which rely on colors, everything is maintained. So for instance, the holes are still red, the split surfaces are still yellow, cavity surfaces are green, as set up in the original parasolid uh, model. So let me just calculate something with this. So I've got a, a, a boundary. Open up the settings for the boundary. Select everything that's yellow and um, calculate this boundary. Okay, very easy to uh, set these toolpaths up for different areas of the model. And activate my toolpath. Come to the settings for the toolpath and calculate that. Once the boundary is created, very easy to get the toolpath created as well. Okay, so you can have these pre-saved toolpaths that rely on wireframe color and PowerShape 2011 preserves the wireframe color ready for manufacturing in PowerMill.